Previously, I followed some viewer suggestions and experimented with seeing if I could make lenses out of sugar. I was surprised how effective they were. After my attempt with the telescope, I was curious if I could pull it off with sugar glass. There were also some interesting comments suggesting other things like using isomalt sugar substitute and a chocolate frame. So I'm going to give that a shot. While I've made my own chocolate from scratch before, I haven't made isomalt. So once again, I'm just going to use store-bought ingredients for this video. Before I make the edible telescope, I'm going to do a practice one with some cardboard tubes, a Pringle can, and some magnifying glasses I got from a surplus store. So previously when I made my actual telescope, I was doing a Keplerian style telescope, which uses a pair of convex lenses. However, this inverts the image and makes it upside down, which when you're using a spyglass, makes it a little bit difficult and confusing. So I'm going to go with more of a Galilean style. This is a concave and convex lens. So this produces a narrower image and not as much magnification, but if you do it right, you should get about four times magnification, I think. So before I make the actual edible telescope, I'm gonna make both of them and see which one ends up working better. style and it's definitely a lot wider but it's really hard to use because everything is backwards but this one is definitely easier to use for looking uh, at stuff around you now that I successfully made a telescope to peep into my neighbor's windows I can try repeating it with isomalt sugar and chocolate first the lenses with the isomalt several spoons to make a couple options for lenses. My first batch caramelized slightly and turned out a little yellow, so I'll give it a second try and watch the temperature more closely. Next, make the body of the telescope out of chocolate. My plan was to use some molds to make a series of rings for the outer and inner tubes. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. Time for plan B, Kit Kats. To make everything stay together, I made a chocolate frosting to use as a glue. So here it is, the edible telescope. 
just gotta put these two pieces together. And so it doesn't really work right now. <laughs> uh, when I first put it together, it actually did work. But since then, the lenses have gotten foggy and trying to take them off and polish them, now they don't stay and it's kind of all falling apart. But even when it did work well, it was pretty distorted. Sugar glass is actually pretty clear when you first polish it, but as it sits, it becomes more and more foggy and starts to dissolve and lose its shape. And even then, there seems to be some distortion in the actual lenses themselves. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the shape or just the structure of the isomalt sugar. So, despite all that, I was able to make very clear lenses that work up close, but an actual telescope, not the most effective. Well, it was a pain to put together and not very functional. At least it's edible. Mm, chocolate. I think this really illustrates why my telescope was not a success. The compounding factor between the two lenses kind of magnifies every little disturbance in this shape that I had in the actual sugar lenses. So while they look really clear and really well shaped, just not quite good enough. It's falling apart. So while something as complex as a candy telescope, not really the greatest, but for something a little more simple, like a magnifying glass, so I made one right here and it actually works pretty good. And it's delicious too.